perseverance as a team, what did you guys learn about yourselves during this stretch here with the injuries and a couple of key guys out? Uh, well, for me, I feel like we're a really good team, man. We're strong in uh, many areas. Uh, we got some guys who are ready to get on the court and who's prepared you know, to play those minutes. So uh, I think we're a really strong team, strong deep team. How much better off do you think you guys are from a depth perspective? I mean, you, Rondé, mm -hmm. Chris, all playing as well as you did. I even Matt, when he comes back, uh, with Kyle and Serge out. How much deeper are you guys now as a result of this stretch? I mean, uh, i just say, like you said, uh, it's a pretty, like I just said, a pretty strong team, man. Uh, it just shows you how how deep of a team we are. Uh, we just got plenty of guys who, who ready, you know, for them uh, for the minutes and just ready to put the ball in the hoop, man, and defend and you know get back to where the team was last year. Did you guys? Did you think this team was this deep in training camp? Uh, I knew it was a pretty good team, but I didn't. I don't know, man. I I just think uh, when the opportunities came. But, you know, uh, the older guys just challenged us, and, uh, you know, some of the young guys just stepped up to the challenge. I think that's, that's all it was. Was that challenge, was it verbal, or was it more just through their action? I would say both. I would say both. Uh, you know, I had to sit down with Serge, like, before, like, it was doing L.A. trip, and he just told me, you know, this is important. This is important to you, important for you, uh, you know, with Cal being out. That, uh, you're, you're gonna play a lot of minutes, and you need to take advantage of it. That right there, I needed as a as a young guy. I needed I needed that talk with Serge, and uh, ever since then, man, uh, it, it's just been it's been really good. I mean, Serge got to get got together yesterday. Uh, no, the the day before yesterday, uh, we did pick and roll. You know, did some things together, and uh, you know, it showed yesterday in the game. You know, his first game back. So uh, just thankful, you know, for him and his knowledge. There, team before uh, the injuries, you have to earn the trust of the coaching yeah. staff. What is it with Nick Nurse? What's the biggest thing for you guys that you have to prove to him that you De on the floor? Defense, defense. Uh, first and foremost, you know, if you can, if you can handle your own on the court, defensive wise, and you know, be in your spots, be in your, the right, you know, right situations. Uh, think, think with that, you know, uh, he'll trust you because uh, you know, defense win games, and you know, if you show him you can do that, and then. Whatever comes on offense and is just a plus. Does he remind you of that on a regular basis? No doubt about that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just something that's it's in our DNA of you know in Toronto. Uh, you know, we have defensive pillars, so uh, definitely if, if if you come with the defense, you know, everything goes take care of itself. Do you think your winning streak gets you any more love, any more respect around the league? <laughs> I don't. I don't like to get into that. Uh, I do. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's like to uh, you know go out and play play ball and. You know, we expect to win, so that's that's, our, that's one of our models, expect to win. Guys are talking about taking on the challenge. Are you guys mindful of knowing that as champs, teams are going to come in, look to give their best shot to, you know, have a close eye on your back? Uh, I would say that these guys are for sure. Uh, you know, they're, they they won a championship last year. For me, for me obviously, uh, it's just, you know, getting better and being ready when my time is, is uh, has come. Uh, other than that, I, I definitely think teams – Teams try to come in here and you know, give us their best shot, but uh, you know, we just remain focused and you know, do what we need to do. You guys have a pretty tough stretch coming up here. Some really good teams right. coming in. How far ahead do you, do you look the schedule in terms of like splitting the season up and yeah. where is this planning ahead? This is next game for me. Uh, those those teams who coming in, it'll be a great challenge for us. Uh, I think we'll get some, you know, our play, uh, all our guys back, so we'll be ready, you know. Uh, but it'll definitely be a great challenge for us, and you know, get some get some wins, man. But it, it'll be good. It'll be good. Did that uh, feel last night finally get back in game action? Man, it feels good, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, it feels good, man. Yeah, you know, I love I love basketball, and I love playing this game. And then be out there uh, last night with those guys it was it was so fun. How tough was it? I have to sit out for three weeks and, and watch it. Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. It was tough because actually uh, last night was my first time uh, like playing on five on five. I mean, I didn't practice, you know, with the team for four weeks. And uh, so last time was my first time really getting in contact and uh, playing five on five. Uh, and the first couple of, uh, first couple, uh, couple of minutes was really rough. 
you know, but um, I was not thinking about it because I was so exciting and uh, thankful just to be back. So that's what's matter. What are the things you try to do mentally to make sure you're still engaged and focused on? Oh, just keep walking. You know, uh, you cannot control everything. You try to control what you can control. You know, even uh, even I was not there, or I could not play, but I want to try to take care of my body, eating healthier, make sure I don't gain weight. You know, just stay ready. How impressed were you by the guys who filled in while you were out? Uh... Very impressive. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't see this coming. You know, they were really surprising me, and uh, you know, just a good thing to have them. You know, now we know we have a, you know great team. You know, with those guys, now we know we are you know chance to go back out there to compete at high level. Terence talked about how you sat him down before the season started. And yeah. He said how important his role would be, even though it might be a small role. How important for you is it to be? to sort of let the younger guys know what they're walking into when they come to this team? Well, the key about it is because uh, I know we need them, yeah. you know, and uh, after winning a championship, uh, I learned something about it. This is like, to win a championship, you need everybody, right? You need everybody to be out there, everybody to have confidence, to play at a high level, you know? So since I, wanna, I, wa I want to win another one, I have to make sure, you know, a barrier around me is, is good, you know, so I'm going to start with the young fellas, you know, I talk to them, and, you know, uh, I, I, I spoke to, with him a couple of times, you know, just try to make him understand, you know, he have chance, you know, to be great, great here, you know, all he had to do to focus and, you know, to do all the little things because he have talents, you know, sometimes as a young guy, it's a little hard to understand that, you know, when you come in a team where you only really want something, you know, even you have your talent, you have to do little things to give your coach confidence to put you on the court, right? So it's hard job as events to talk to them and make, make sure they understand that. You were pretty vocal before the season started that you thought the team was being overlooked a little bit, disrespected maybe, counted yeah. out by some. Mm -hmm. This sort of vindication, I mean, obviously it's still early in the season, but to see how well the team has been playing, it, turning some heads around the league. Does it sort of feel good, almost like an I told you so to a lot of people that weren't? Yeah, it's kind of funny because at, at, at this point, I'm just laughing. You know, like my first year, like, yeah, you say something back to them, you see? But now at this point, I'm just laughing because we've been there before. You know, at this point, it's like, they're the one, they have to, you know, sign like to be ashamed of them or, or laugh at themselves than us, you know, because we've been there before, we know it's going to be like that. But, you know, one of the good things we always do here is to focus on us, you know, try to prove them wrong. Serge, last week ESPN had you at 11th in their rankings. This morning they have you at 7th. Does that mean anything? <laughs> we don't really worry about it. They can put us up, they can put us down, last, first, whatever. We want to keep doing our thing, you know. And, uh, you know, we don't want to ask them to do nothing. Hard work is going to speak for us. You know, so we're going to keep working. Some love and respect. Don't you think this team deserves a little more? Listen, uh, I, said, I said this earlier, you know, in this world where we live, people, some people are going to love you, some people are going to hate you. That's what it is. You cannot try to force a bird to love you. It's not going to work. Whoever loves us, they love us. The person who doesn't love us, that's, that's what it is, right? But we keep moving, we keep doing our thing, and then we keep getting better and better. And now we have our young guys, you know, doing a great job for us. That's matter. And during the time you were out, you got a closer look at Nick Nurse and his, and his work. Excuse me? And that, sitting near Nick Nurse during the, the 10 games that you missed. Yeah. Uh, did you learn something about him, uh, how this team thrived without you and Kyle throughout that run? Oh, uh, just the way he he, he did, uh, you know, the change without me and Kai. You know, just him giving confidence to the young guys, you know, I think it was, it was huge. You know, huge because I think, we, like I say again, we need them, and it was it was a right time for them to, to, to have that opportunity, and they, they respond they respond well, you know. And now we know, you know, we got good pieces here to go for.